back as the Trojans win in San Marcos over Texas State 55 to 52. We converse now with Troy head coach Scott Cross brought to you by Troy Bank and Trust, the only bank you'll ever need. Nip and tuck game, most of it. Boy, you guys had to dig down deep to get this win at the end. Coach. Yeah, I'm super proud of them. Um, you know, we battled. We got the defensive stops down the stretch that we needed to. I mean, I can't remember the last time we've had a Division One opponent to 35%. Uh, so, you know, it's two games where we played really solid defense. So I can identify with this group. We spent all Christmas, you know, after Christmas just working on defense. Definitely got better. Obviously, we've struggled to score the ball a little bit because we get we've been getting out of rhythm and spent all our time defensively. But once we can get the defense a constant, we'll have a chance to win every game, and then we can focus a little bit more on the offensive end. But you can you don't stand a chance in this league if you don't defend. I'm always appreciative of you giving me access to the film study on the road and everything like that. And I can't remember who the game was against, but you were watching the film of Texas State. I believe it was once. And uh, Trent Patterson mentioned that you know they they, they heat up uh, Mason Harrell and sometimes he'll make mental mistakes. And I remember you said in the background, you said Spud's going to bring the heat. Yeah, he brought the heat. He brought the heat. He was phenomenal. You know, I think two guys like Zay every game has been phenomenal all year long. One of the best defensive players I've ever coached. You know, KP's been around me forever. Super, super solid. You know, Spud is one who's so capable of being an outstanding defender, and he made his mind up today that he was going to do a, a phenomenal job, and he sat down and he defended. And then the other one's Amir Muhammad, who has had a couple of games where he hasn't been great defensively, but the last two, man, those two guys have sat down and they go to their yard, and they're, you know, they're so good offensive players. So now that they're defending at a high level, like it's, we're going to continue to get better and better because now that those guys are defending the way they are, we're, we're, we'll never shoot the ball the way we had the last two games. You know, we've been on the road against two good defensive teams. It's, you know, we're going to start getting better and the, the basket's going to open up and we're going to start nailing threes. Cooper Punter, his reputation is as a three-point shooter, but I thought he made that little move in the lane there to get the three-point play. That may have been the biggest offensive point of the basketball game, you think? Yeah, he's done so many times this year. He's kind of willed us. He's, he's kind of been the guy, I think, that just kind of wills us to victory you know, and, and refuses. He's the guy that gets the team together. We're getting this stop. Uh, that, that was a huge play down there. Uh, you know, I mean, this is his senior year. He knows it. Zay's senior year, those two guys. So they're doing everything in our power to help us win basketball games. And the margin for error in the Sun Belt is you can look at the scores and see, I mean, the teams that are picked at the bottom, you know, there's a couple of them that are 2-0 and right now. And so uh, it's any given night, anybody can win. And so... Uh, you have to be ready to play, and you have to hook it up and be tough. Yeah, I was going to ask you about this in context because, you know, winning on the road in the Sun Belt is difficult anyway, but it doesn't look like there's going to be really separation from the top and the bottom of the whole league. You sneak a win on the road, put that into context for us. That's a huge deal. Yeah, I think the winner of the league, it'll be close to this where they'll sweep all their games at home, so they'll go, what is it? We're playing uh, 18 game schedule, so they'll be nine and zero at home, and probably five and four on the road. I think would be for sure would win the league. So that that's the formula to do it. You know, we kind of did what we're supposed to do by splitting on the road. We have to take care of our home games in order to be a conference champion. But you know, for me, we just have to win the next possession. You know, that's what it comes down to, and we have to do that for 40 minutes. And we can't look too far in advance. We just have to continue to get better. Monday, we get back to work, and we have to get better. I thought it was remarkable because you and I addressed it in the pregame show. Yesterday was just an excruciating travel day with all the delays and, and all the rescheduling and stuff like that. We could have minded people might use those as excuses. Yeah. I know you didn't get to prepare as much as you wanted to. And not only did you not even mention it, that was not even a point brought up. Yeah. But none of the players used that as Yeah, our guys, them, 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 sorry for them. Our guys have have some mental toughness to them and um, you know not being able to practice on the floor or shoot or run through your offense or we did guard their stuff but we did it in a, ho a small hotel room you know and, and our guys were locked in they were focused uh, I think they knew what was coming in the game and I think we did a pretty good job defend I mean obviously holding them at 35 percent is phenomenal so yeah our guys aren't excuse makers they're they're great guys and uh, you know I think their mental toughness is growing and 
Uh, as that continues to grow and get better, we're going to continue to get better. With all that being said, I know they prefer to sleep in their own bed on game day yeah. Thursday and Saturday in front of a, what should be a really good home crowd. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting back, back at home. Obviously, we need to redeem ourselves from the Mercer game, and we'll have an opportunity to do it on Thursday. But like I said, there's no easy games. Uh, whoever's in last place can easily beat you. I think it's Old Dominion that we have next, and I know they're going to come in there and they're going to give us a great game. But we're on our home floor. We got to take care of business at home. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Win. Thank you. Head coach Scott.